Hey everybody, it's Shadow the Wolf. So lately, I'm sure you've probably seen all the controversy going around on Twitter involving Capital City Furcon. Um, as you know, I attended Capital City Furcon back in January, and I originally wasn't going to comment on what transpired at the convention, but in light of recent events, um, I can no longer stay quiet about what happened. The main reason for this is, and I'd like to start off by saying that Everything involving the Capital City for con controversy is solely the responsibility of Nitro. The reason I'm commenting about this is because uh, I know a lot of the staff members that worked for the con, a lot of them, my friends, are starting to get a lot of backlash and basically getting beat on and the blame is falling on their shoulders. So I'm going to go ahead and explain the truth about what transpired at Capital City for Con to sort of put this whole thing to rest and prevent innocent people from actually being blamed for what happened. So, to start off, um, Capital City for Con was in Harrisburg, uh, Pennsylvania back in January. Um, as you may know, uh, the known guests of honor were, of course, you know, Tuners the Wolf, Saffy, Zusho, Odin Wolf. And, um, you know, I've talked to all, the, all of them. They don't want to be involved in this. They, want, they do not want to make comments of their own. So please do not go message them. Don't contact them and ask them to make statements. They want to remain neutral about this. So I'm going to be just the sole person making a statement. So when the convention started, um, obviously there was a lot of leeriness about Nitro and about the convention itself. A lot of people thought it was a scam. A lot of people thought that it wasn't real. So it was a real convention. The big problem was gross financial mismanagement. The con was, it was basically an ego trip for Nitro. He made the con far bigger than he should have tried to make for a first year con. And he didn't take the necessary steps to ensure a con's success. And what it came down to was a massive failure of finances. So, to put it simply, uh, day one at the con, we were all running around doing our thing. Sorry, kind of sweating in here. So, it was towards the end of the day, and one of my friends, uh, Maxi Wusky, he was staff at the con, he, one of the people that has been getting flack for what went down. Um, he came to me up in my room, and he was uh, visibly distressed. So it turns out that the money that was supposed to be paid to the hotel to actually pay for the convention, it didn't happen. Um, for whatever reason, I don't have all the information about this. I don't know how banks work, but supposedly... Capital City Furcon had the money in the account, but couldn't access it for some reason, and they couldn't pay the hotel till Monday. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but that's what was told to me, and that's my understanding of the situation. Well, the hotel, understandably, did not want to wait for Monday. They wanted the money on Friday, so they basically told Nitro and the uh, other leading staff members of the convention hey, you need to pay us now, or we are shutting the con down. So yeah, that's what we were facing. Um, it was late. They were originally going to keep uh, registration open around the clock. They wanted to keep things open so they could get money in and cover the con. Because what I was told was the con had the money, but they couldn't access it. I know that doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense to me, but I'm not a financial expert, so... Eh. So... Basically what happened, and the reason the convention went through the full weekend and everything was fine was, and this is something that I preferred to keep to myself in the beginning, um, Ultra Pup, as you know, was one of the bigger staff members of the con, and I talked to him. I'm not going to go into details because I know he's doing his own thing right now and he doesn't want to get involved with certain aspects, so I need to be as neutral about this as I can and not give away any information. Um, I basically put up my credit card 
to the hotel and put the entire convention on my card. Yeah. So my credit card, the whole convention was paid for. Um, it was my understanding that at the end of the con on Monday, supposedly when this money became unfrozen, and they did show me numbers, and I saw the money on paper, so I believed it was there, that I would just get my money on Monday, and I was like, you know, cool, I'll do this, uh, the con's good, and then I'll get the money, and hey, I'll get a bunch of points on my credit card, why not? So I did, and the con continued, and everything was going about. It seemed like a pretty successful con, like I said, everything was way too large for a first con, so it was kind of overblown. Now, the big problems started after. So, after the convention, um, I received a call, I will not say from who, and it was basically they told me that uh, the money wasn't there, uh, Nitro supposedly wasn't releasing the money, or whatever, so on and so forth, and I was then, of course, facing a substantial charge on my credit card that now I was going to have to pay for. So I communicated with uh, my credit card, and of course I did, you know, what I could do. So I communicated with my credit card, and they basically advised me on some things that would, basically, I went through, you know, a whole little procedure that allowed me to pass off the charge back to Nitro and basically make it his responsibility to pay the hotel, so that sort of cleared me out of it. Now, a lot of what happened was people that were told that they would be guest of honor uh, showed up at the con, and surprise, they weren't guest of honor. Uh, people were told that their rooms were going to be comped. Their rooms were not comped. They were told that they would have you know, certain positions or, you know, dealer's den spots, things like that at the con. They showed up and surprise, surprise, those things didn't happen. So a lot of people were being lied to. Now, one of the bigger issues as well was the guests of honors that were at the con. Um, I don't remember exactly which ones, but I think only one or two actually got their rooms comped and their flights. The rest of the guests of honor did not have the con paid for, they did not have their flights comp, as is normal for a guest of honor. So a lot of what has happened is Nitro made a bunch of empty promises to a lot of people and didn't deliver. He borrowed money from a lot of people and did not pay them back. There's a whole bunch of other controversies about Nitro and things that are really bad with Capital City for a con. But my main point here is to ensure everybody that everything that has gone on was purely on the shoulders of Nitro. The rest of the staff, they were fine. They were running everything like a regular convention. And honestly, the only reason CCSC happened was because of the staff. And I can confidently say, for any other cons out there, the staff members of Capital City for a Con, you would be so lucky to have them because they did a phenomenal job. And I know there were... A, couple of problems with a few security personnel who will remain unmentioned, but they were dealt with very quickly and fired. But the staff members that made the con happen, everything happened because of their hard work. All of the fires and hazards and all the nonsense that happened because of Nitro, the staff members stepped up and they put out all that mess. They kept it off to the side kept the con running and made sure things were still fun and enjoyable for everyone that was there. So I would really like to give a big shout out to the staff. They did a phenomenal job. So everyone out there, please do not harass the staff of Capital City for a con. Understand this. The staff, they do not have access to the con's finances. They do not have their name on the deals, on the legal documents, on the leases, blah, 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 blah. That was all Nitro, all in his name. The staff was just there to make the con run despite Nitro's financial ineptitude. So they did a phenomenal job. So please do not give the staff a hard time. A lot of whom are my friends, like I said. So yeah, I just, I wanted to say what went on with Capital City for a con about how the con got started, how it almost got shut down. 
it then proceeded to actually happen and then after the con was over a lot of people were ghosted by nitro and didn't receive their money and like i said i don't have all the information i know a lot of people were dealing with a lot of other things i am not aware of all of those things that are happening but i do know it is solely on the shoulders of nitro so the con itself at this point i'm pretty sure the con is done but it may not be done i don't know but for me personally seeing everything that's happened and all the trouble that nitro has caused for the convention and the fandom and all the people involved as you may know if you saw the con video i was actually invited as one of the three guests of honor for next year so um for me now i'm actually resigning as guest of honor I, I do believe it is the right thing to do uh as long as the convention has had its name stained by nitro and his actions i really don't think it would be wise so um i am stepping down as guest of honor for capital city furcon and um fluke and uh rainy uh i know you guys were also invited as guest of honor uh, if you see this video i definitely recommend that you step down as guest of honor as well for the time being i don't believe that this convention is something that anyone should really be associated with too much damage has been done by nitro and i think it is in everyone's interest to just move on so that's what i have to say and uh thank you all for watching this video